and we do compost our weeds too and some of those weeds end up back in the garden which you know some people are kind of against but you know if you get if you get it hot enough hopefully you will kill out the weed seeds we don't always kill out all the weed seeds but that's okay you know it's it's kind of like we're just we're we 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 plant this so over much. here is this some that's uh kind of finishing yeah, up there's getting some more close that's finished up and this right here is a volunteer tomato plant that came out of our compost and yeah. um a couple months ago i don't know if this guy is done but we had a volunteer acorn squash you know and it was really early for the season to get one of those um, this is the um right here this is the finished compost it's a lot of weeds from the garden wow and mixed in with good looking stuff. and stuff and what we do when we're when we use it in our potted stuff is we will run it through a little sifter and mix it in with potting soil or depending on what we're going to use it for um, out here um, we have established uh, what what we hope if the city you know just leaves it alone um, so far so good is our nice little apple orchard these are all standard fruit trees a lot of people in the city say don't plant standard you know because it's too big but I really wanted something that was going to bring back some of that microclimate capture some of the moisture on the hill bring it down into the garden so hopefully these standard uh, fruit trees will grow up really tall and they'll you know they'll do their job um, both with uh, providing you know more of rebalancing the ecosystem in this little side of holding the, the holding the cool night air yeah. over into the daytime and yeah and bringing it bringing it back so so far so good they're they're doing well they're they're uh, you know they're growing and they're still alive so to me that's that's pretty good I don't really mess with with them a lot and I've in my short experience with fruit trees which is only like a couple years I've found that like when you prune them too much once you start pruning them then you just have to and then you have to start going and following them with all kinds of fungicides and just different treatments and what, what I'm learning more from my peaches, because until I really started pruning my peaches, they were fine. It was when I started pruning them and messing with them, and they got, you know, really big and kind of out of balance, and then one limb was taking on too much weight. So I'm just letting them do their thing and seeing what happens. Um, but hopefully over time, you know, we can just continue to build the soil and expand. It's been kind of like, what we do is we get to one point and we build up the dirt and we kind of get productive with it and then we get another area. So the garden is basically with the part of the tour that we started out in, the lower part by the peach trees. That was the first area that really got improved. This area up here was the second area, and now this is the third area. And then the fourth area... This is all popcorn. So if anybody grabs some corn for themselves, I don't think they're going to enjoy it too much. <laughs> Unless they're going to pop it. Unless they're going to try it. Pop it. So, you know, basically the next areas that we're really focusing on is the outside of the fence. The whole curb appeal thing. Right now we're working on this area. They are, they are restoring this school, beautiful Rothenberg Academy. 
So hopefully we will become a nice resource for their school and they can come over to the garden and their science teachers and art teachers can use our garden as part of their curriculum. And fresh produce for the uh, lunchroom. Hopefully, that would be great. And then, so what we plan on doing is continuing to improve the soil on the outside of the garden. We do currently grow a lot of food on the outside of the garden and it is and it is free to the neighborhood. There's no signs, but there's no signs that say don't don't take it. If people want to take it, that's fine by me. We'll just grow more, at, you know. And you know, this is this is for people in the neighborhood. If I see someone here that looks like they have a boatload of money in their pocket, then I might say, hey, can you throw a couple bucks in the donation pile so that we can help us employ some of these kids but if they look hungry and they need it take it so the next step is uh, you know we'll be hopefully improving this slope it's pretty rocky and really improving the hillside here and giving ourselves more of a curve And we're That's it for the tour. Thanks for stopping by.